Obviously, you have the, the game one kind of disappointment there, and then for game two, you obviously pull the four returning starters and go with a pretty freshman laden, freshman heavy lineup in game two. What were some of those talks like in between those two games? Uh, just the, the game doesn't discriminate on age, uh, and the game doesn't owe you anything. <laughs> Uh, the game says this is how you're supposed to play it. You pound the ball in the strike zone. You make plays on defense. Um, and then offensively, which is a tough offensive game. But there's a right way to compete in the batter's box. There's a right way to run the bases. Uh, and so we just felt like we had to go with some fresh, young, new blood. Um, play with that joy. Play with that energy. Play with that enthusiasm. And, you know, two, two freshmen on the mound and a bunch of young guys running around the field, and, and it, it turns out okay for us. And, and obviously there was a lot of light from the from game two. What, was, what were some of your biggest takeaways, whether it be pitching, hitting, whatever, from some of the young guys that you played in that second game? Uh, just play the game the right way, you know. Um, it's not always going to go in your favor, but with the talent we have and the work ethic and the toughness, you know, if we play the game the right way, you know, we got a chance to come out on top. and. That's what's so frustrating. Uh, we just we hadn't played hadn't played the game well enough, you know, the first week of the season. So my hope is we learn and we grow. Um, and you know, a couple guys are able to hit the reset button and come out and help us play better baseball. As you look forward to tomorrow, you know, with how good the the youngsters were today, are are you anticipating continuing to run those guys out? That's a good one. And you know, I'll sleep on it. Um, you know. It's healthy to have competition, let's put it that way. As I've learned a long time ago when you're coaching amateurs, we say be professional, but they're amateurs. And the best thing for amateurs is competition. The best thing is knowing there's a guy next to me. What, what made the Jeters and the Bradys and the great ones was they were afraid someone was gonna take their job. You know, they never rested on how good or great they were. Um, so we've got some competition and we've got some depth um, but we need them all. I mean, we're, we're not trying to bury anybody or, you know, um, crown anybody um, the chosen one. It's it, just show up, man. Show up ready to compete. And when you get a chance to be in the lineup, just play the game the right way. After that last game, you pulled a few of your leaders aside and you talked to them in the, in the outfield for quite a while. Obviously, you don't have to so like what exactly said to them, but what was the overall like message to those guys? Well, like, similar to what we've been talking about. Just there's a right way to play the game and and there's a wrong way or average way or selfish way or however you want to call it. You know, it's like uh, the eye in the sky don't lie, right? As they say in football and and we've got video and we'll 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 go through a lot of game notes tomorrow, the good, the bad and the ugly and um, and we do it. You know, amongst ourselves, we do it within the family. We, we don't do it to show anybody up, but we're, we're going to make it clear. I don't I thought we've made it clear. And when you're in the program, as long as you've been, I don't know how it's not clear how to play the game the right way and how not to play the game the right way. But, um, you know, I'm not here to bury anybody or, or anything like that. Um, but when you don't play the game the right way, you lose. And that's why we got off to a tough start this year. We uh, talked to Matt Klein for a second. Can, can you assess, you know, how good he was today, getting to play a little catcher, play a little first base, uh, four for five between the two games with a couple of walks? I mean, just seems like he's just, you know, even coming off an injury, come out of the gates, um, you know, having a fantastic start to the year. Yeah, it's, it's obviously what he went through as a freshman was very frustrating because he was playing good. Um, he had good numbers in a short season. Um, we really suffered, you know, when we lost those catchers. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy for him that he's, you know, healthy enough to be playing. But it's always been a, a very good approach in the batter's box. It's, it's got, he's got a chance to be a high average guy. Power will come and all that stuff. But, um, and I guess today you got glimpses of a Dalton rushing, you know, where a kid can catch and play first. And, um, and we need that versatility right now. So. Uh, just happy for him, especially you know when you go through an injury like he went through. And um, but great kid, and he works hard, and really, as we, you know, we say, respects the game and shows up ready to play. What did you think of the two starting pitchers that played today? Pandora had a pretty good start before the command kind of fell off a little bit. Yeah. In the final two innings. And then Parker Demers comes in, and he, he looks pretty good the first few innings. Yeah, that's you know I guess what four quality starts right in five games. Um, you know I hate it for Gangora because he's. He's pitching well enough for us to win. I, we're not doing enough around him, um, which 
like I said, I hate it for the kid because usually when you run out there game one, you're, you're seeing the other team's best and, and there's a fine line and we're not doing enough to come away with the W's, but uh, two quality starts for him. And, and then Parker Detmers, you just, you know, you don't want to make a big deal about it, um, but I'm just, I'm proud that the two freshmen today ran out there aggressive in the strike zone. You know, I think some older guys could probably, just like older position players, there's older pitchers that, man, just be aggressive in the strike zone. Trust your stuff. I mean, you, you wear this uniform and, and you work hard and you got talent. Like, um, so, you know, my hope is we just learn. You got to learn and grow. Uh, you don't arrive uh, week one of the year. And we've obviously put ourselves in a little bit of a hole, but nothing we can do about that other than come out and play good baseball Saturday and Sunday. As you look forward to, to the rest of the weekend, you talked a little bit after the game on Wednesday about, you know, maybe they were just pressing a little bit and, you know, finally getting the W this evening. Do you think that might just kind of relieve some pressure a little bit and allow them to relax? Hopefully? I mean, you hope, um, but pressure is, is pressures when you're selfish. Pressures when you make it about yourself. Pressure is when you're just kind of doing your own thing, you know, like, when you're playing for your teammates and you're playing for your brothers and you're just trying to, to be a part of something special, it shouldn't be, shouldn't be so tight. Should, that's when the joy comes. That, that's when you're having fun and, and you're happy. And, um, but this game, no one's immune from this game getting, like I said, I'm not, I'm not here to bury anybody. This game will beat you down. I mean, it's, um, and, and these kids work extremely hard and, and they want it so bad sometimes that they just gotta, you know, do your job, right? The, 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 the Tom Brady, Bella, just just do your job. Just do your job. Respect the game and play the game the right way and help help this team, help this program win. And last one, maybe you mentioned trying to play the game the right way. In that first game where after the offense had you know, the hot start and kind of taper off a little bit, were guys just not taking discipline at bats, trying to do too much? Why do you think that they kind of slowed down? There? It's a little bit. You know, I call it throwing away at bats. We, we've had a tendency to throw away some at bats uh, the last couple weeks. Um, we've missed a sign or two. Um, um, we, we poor base running again um, has, has been a common theme in the first week of the season. Um, and it's, it's just for for someone who doesn't have a lot of patience, and I, and I feel like I do in baseball, I mean, when older guys don't run the bases the right way, man, that that's 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 frustrating. I just, it's hard for me to accept, and I don't know how they would accept it as older players. So, um, like I said, man, just, just learn and grow and um, play a complete game. We always say play the game, not the score. So I was really proud of that young group, man. They they could have shut it down. Um, and it's not easy necessarily to pitch when the score is like that. But, man, give, give that young group a lot of credit. Man, they played a seven-inning game. I'm not going to say perfect, but, man, they played it pretty darn good. They didn't throw away any at-bats. You saw quality at-bats. You saw guys making plays. You saw pitchers being aggressive in the zone. Uh, man, I hope I hope we take a, a, a page out of that book and, and try to bring that – to tomorrow. Actually, I'll add one more for me. You mentioned the base running. As, as someone who throughout your career has prided himself on yeah. your program's ability to run the bases and be aggressive and steal bases and whatnot, how surprising is it that the base running over the first couple weeks has been so lackadaisical? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very surprising. Like I said, it's um, just something we take pride in our program. And uh, as we always say, you know, getting these guys ready for the next level it's been something we've hung our hat on that, you know, when our guys leave this program and they get in the pro ball, it's, it's something that they, we feel like they're ahead of the game. Uh, nothing against high school kids or any other college programs. Um, but we, we spend a lot of time on running the bases the right way. And as the game's starting to revert back to that being a little more important now and because of not as many home runs and and not allowed to shift and you don't have to hit it over them like speed stealing bases just running the base the right way man it's um something we take so much pride in and and it helps these guys when they when they cross the line into pro ball so um but th th they know i i'm not one to shy away uh, i address things as soon as they happen game notes are a staple in our program 
and tomorrow morning man, we'll have the video and we'll run through the game notes and we'll address those shortcomings so um, but like anything else it's um, the more you address and the more you make it a, a topic of discussion they, they could get a little tight and and um, and I don't think our jumps are great right now stealing bases we're not if you came out here in those first three weekends of scrimmages it was like you couldn't stop us I mean it didn't matter you, you could not stop us but we're just you know but that, that, that happens when you don't put up a bunch of crooked numbers and it's all these close games and um, and so hopefully the, the more we play the, the more comfortable we get Thanks, man. Thank okay you.